Anna Davids and her family live in this rundown shack in Okoriangava. Davids and her husband have three children and the family resides in the small dwelling with limited privacy, if any. Many Namibians who live in locations like this one have given up on the government and they say whether they vote or not, their situations remain the same. Despite the stance by critics, this family is heading for the polls come November as this is the only hope of seeing change. The expectations are high. And the president must be hard. He can go and he, I think if he's going to be a president, he will change my life. Maybe if I'm going to uh, talk to his secretary, the secretary will maybe say, ah, just help these people of this area, of maybe for this lady who is suffering like this, uh, maybe with the job. Furthermore, the family's relative is now also residing in the shack. He came from the rural areas in search for a better life in the capital. I'm renting this room for 200. And Tonsel did come back to me to come to stay with me at this place. It's people like Donzella and Anna who barely have a basic need like water. Despite their poverty-stricken environment, they will be heading to the polls to vote for change. Jenny Sitole for the News on One.